So I'm here with Brendan, one half of D in property down in beautiful Geelong, mate. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Well, look, it's coming down and checking out the site. It's, I was pretty impressed with how it's so integrated with the whole HOSPO, the kind of key West End precinct straight yep. within Geelong. Yep. Can you talk to us about a bit about the site and how did you kind of come to choose this particular spot of Geelong? My, my best partner and I have been kind of working and developing down this way over the last probably seven, eight years, more in the kind of house and land space. And we saw obviously, obviously that uh, seven, eight years where how Geelong has properly matured as that sister city to Melbourne. I guess the government's always been trying to push and advocate for for a long, long time. I think the shot in the through COVID really kind of pushed it yeah, four or five years in advance. We came across this site completely off market. It was garage, shed factory, kind of warehouse sales thing. It feels like uh, it's right in the middle. How did they get away with being what I don't it was know. for so yeah. long? Yeah, it's, it's one of our mysteries that we don't know. Like the, the 80-year-old vendor has just owned it for yonks and just had it there and chipping away and not knowing like the true value of this site now, that particularly with what's happening in Central Geelong kind of framework plan that the state government's taking care of the Central Geelong and the redevelopment of it. Yeah, it's a great site. It, like I said, we're, we're near the Esplanade, we're near the hospitality precincts, Got Deakin University down the road, and more most importantly, the new Geelong Convention Centre is just coming up. That'll start getting built over the next 12, 18 months. And it'll be yeah, neck and neck with you know, the Melbourne Convention Centre once it's actually built and generating some yeah, additional tourism and exhibitions to the to Geelong CBD. You actually track all the people searching for each suburb in Australia, and then we also track the supply side coming to market. Actually, Geelong was the most searched for relative supply in the whole country, yeah. and that was for the first half of this year. What type of buyers are you finding that are coming down and interested in the project? Yeah, uh, it's a diverse range of, of people, to be honest. We have investors, we have yeah, first-home buyers, that are priced out of that new kind of house and land package in Armstrong Creek. Like they're up to 750, 800 grand just to kind of get into a small, small house and land up, up, up that way. Obviously, then you've got Torquay and Bowen Heads, which is super expensive now. So we're finding that people want to stay in Geelong CBD because of you know, good education, good kind of food and beverage precinct now. Obviously, employment down here is, is second to none now. So yeah, a lot of white collar um, young professional workers are getting into the market. We're finding some downsizers now coming down into the two better apartment space. So it's pretty affordable, particularly when you compare it with some pockets of Melbourne. It's yeah. a pretty good price point. Yeah, well, we've always said it's like Melbourne. Melbourne prices kind of ten years ago is what we're trying to pitch for for this project. Yeah, you know, we still have a quality product, but at the same time, the prices are so attainable that people can yeah, downsize, use some of the other money to have a holiday home and have something bolt hole in their yeah, Geelong where they've always kind of known and grown up with. So yeah, it's, we're getting a vast array of different buyers, which is awesome, which is what we kind of expected. And going back to supply question, yeah, it's one of the main reasons we bought this site is there wasn't a lot of apartment supply coming. Obviously, yeah. become this proper city now in CBD with the lack of apartments. When you look at, put it to like a Newcastle or Wollongong, yeah, they've started really maturing in probably 10 years, five, 10 years ahead of Geelong. Yeah. And seeing where those prices and apartment supply has gone, this is kind of the next logical kind of frontier for, for Victoria, at least. Yeah. yeah I think what I think is awesome about what you guys are doing as well, you put together an awesome team. Yeah. You know, that's so important. You've got yeah. Rothy Lohman on the architecture side. As I said, you've got Nick Cooney on the RPM team. Yeah. They've seen the success at Ryrie Homes, which is kind of the other dominant um, apartment project. Might yeah. say that's almost sold out now. Yeah. So yeah, you kind right. of like bring a team of people that have kind of had success in the area yeah. and then bring something that's quite unique to the marketplace. And I think that's exactly what we need, right? Yeah, exactly. 100%. Yeah. The team we've, we've forged around this project is, is second to none. And again, you're like, like I said, Nick and Adam at the RPM. You know, they're kind of the kings of Geelong for sales, off the plan sales <laughs> in apartments. So yeah, we're stoked to have those guys on board. And he said there's only like five or six apartments left at Rari Home. So it is the perfect progression for people to look and still at an affordable price point. There's obviously some super luxury stuff that's coming to the market in Geelong, but yeah, we're, we're, it's not, not our game and what we can offer to the market is yeah, something a bit different. You know, one of the other great companies you've got in the mix is Icon Kojima, one of the biggest property companies in the world. You know, I think that gives a lot of confidence to buyers that the project is going to be delivered at the standard that DM's been known for. And having that really like big backing is super helpful. Have you found buyers? Yeah, absolutely. Like Particularly in this environment right now, obviously the uncertainty of, of the builder market is first question people are, walk, are asking when they walk into the display suite. So having that big balance sheet of Icon Kojima there, obviously a world property investor, developer and builder in their own right has been super powerful for us and their alignment with the project and us has been super powerful as a, as a partner in the project on the investment side. 
And so I understand the display suite it looks awesome. Yeah. It was completed about a week ago. How have you found it so far and how's the, the reception been? Yeah, super strong. Like we've had a lot of banked up inquiries off the hoarding off the site for a number of weeks and months now that we've kind of held back waiting for the display suite to open. That's been super strong. We've had a really good reception. We sold a, a few already. So we've held back a, a lot of the inquiry we've had from early days from the hoarding on site for a number of weeks and months. Yeah, we've got the, the, the grand launch kind of happening this this weekend for the public, um, which is super awesome. Yeah. But um, we've had so much inquiry bank there that we've had a lot of people come through early into the display suite. Now it's been open for a week or so. And we had it jagged a heap of inquiry and and some purchases from this this being open about a touch and feel and see that kitchen and the bathroom and the finishes and fixtures and the 3D model and understanding where all the apartments are. So yeah, we've, we've sold it, sold a few already in the development, which is, which is awesome for us. Uh, that market acceptance is there and understanding the partners in the project that we talk about, the design and investment team that we've got behind the project. So yeah, we're pumped about the grand launch this weekend and yet start construction early next year with like a finish kind of spring 25. So it's a uncommon kind of time frame. Yeah, with people buying now to be kind of moving to the house within, say, two years from now is, is probably pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, for a 129 apartment kind of building, like it's, it's quite big. Most people would be like three, four, five years for that kind of horizon for that size of project in you know, Melbourne or others. So we're super pumped about that. And that's been be able to bring people purchases forward because the decision making is so much shorter than what it would be for other projects. Well, mate, I think you guys are an awesome job down here. I want to see way more projects down here in Geelong. As I said, we've got tons of search. We've got good teams doing good projects in good areas. I feel like you guys are absolutely nailing it. So, mate, congratulations on the success so far. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers.